Now finally, what we need to understand is that static friction is greater than sliding friction and sliding friction in itself is greater than rolling friction. So to say, of all the kinds of friction, rolling friction has the least value. That is why it is easier to roll a body than to slide it. To show you that static friction is greater than sliding friction and sliding friction is greater than rolling friction, we have this wooden ramp or this inclined plane and we have this metallic disc. Now why is static friction more than sliding friction? See right now static friction is what is keeping the metallic disc from sliding down. So in order to overcome the static friction right now, I will apply an extra effort. I will give it a push. So I will give it a push and see it came up to here. It slid down up to this point. Because in order to overcome the static friction, I had to apply an extra effort. But to keep it sliding down, that is to overcome the sliding friction, I do not have to apply any extra effort. I do not have to go on applying a force to keep it sliding or to overcome the sliding friction. So therefore, static friction is more than your sliding friction. Now to show that sliding friction is more than rolling friction, let us give a slight push to this metallic disc which right now don't forget is experiencing static friction. So let us give it a slight push and see what happens or rather how it slides. One, two, three. There it slides down. Let's see one more time. There. Now we will try to roll this very metallic disc down the inclined plane and we will see what happens. One, two and three. There you saw. How quickly it rolls down. It went off track this time. Let's see one more time. We could see how quickly the metallic disc rolls down this inclined plane and the very same metallic disc it slides down very slowly. So this simply tells us that rolling friction is lesser than sliding friction. Also the fact that a fidget spinner spins so smoothly is because of rolling friction. Let me show you that. A fidget spinner actually has small small ball bearings in here. Because of which what happens is rolling friction comes into play here because of these small small ball bearings and it is because of the ball bearings and thereby this rolling friction that a fidget spinner spins so smoothly. So here also rolling friction is coming into Play. Since the ancient men also understood the fact that it is easier to roll a body than to slide it, that is why they devised wheels. Although they had no idea whatsoever about sliding friction or rolling friction, but they understood the fact that it is easier to roll a body than to slide it, that is why they devised wheels. And it is because of this fact that we have wheels and tires in our cars and vehicles today so do remember static friction is greater than sliding friction which is greater than rolling friction